Hello, Sagittarius viewers. I'm going to look into your situation. Um, whatever the cards want to say could be about, um, I know a lot of you are going through a psychic awakening right now. You've been going through a dark night of the soul and you're going through a psychic awakening or your person is. Um, I feel like, well, just whatever the cards want to say. It could be about love, could be about money, just whatever story comes out here. Truth and clarity, stagnation and complacency. Just bear with me. My camera takes a minute to, to um, adjust. Yeah, someone's coming out of either you or your person. Someone is going to have some kind of truth revealed, and they're going to come out of stagnation really quickly. So we've got fast-moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. That's interesting energy. It's almost like I see it like a, like starting over, like you're starting fresh with the person that you love. Confusion and uncertainty. What's the confusion and uncertainty about? What is what is the confusion in this situation? Pride and stubbornness. So you see these two people where it's like she questions how he feels, he questions how she how she feels. Like they both they're both questioning each other. They're both, it's like they want to be close to each other, but they're both being prideful and stubborn. And that's caused confusion. That's either made you insecure or it's made your person insecure. But there's actually love here. There's true love here, but it's just that someone's kind of gotten in their head. Someone's been too prideful to reach out first. For those of you that are not in contact, or it's like maybe you guys are talking, but it's like you're not saying what needs to be said. Like someone's like not willing to say I love you first. It's like that kind of energy. But the love is there. I mean, the love is there, but it's like, you know, the pride needs to be addressed. Spying. You've been spying or they've been spying. And there's some kind of miscommunication that's taken place. So you have to be aware of that during Mercury retrograde, that it's really easy to miscommunicate with people. To miscommunicate with people, it's really easy to um, misunderstand what they're saying and think that think that they're rejecting you or think that they're closed off or cold to you when really that's not the case. Because sometimes Mercury retrograde likes to play with our fears and our our insecurities and our weaknesses. You know, it, it there's so many arguments during Mercury retrograde because people miscommunicate with each other. People take things the wrong way. Energies are very high strung during Mercury retrograde. And this energy is actually going to be really beneficial to you because it's getting you to where you need to be. So this is going to be, this Mercury retrograde is going to be kind of like a, a um, purging process for you is what I'm feeling. Like it's going to bring a lot of um, truth to light. A lot of truth is going to be revealed during this retrograde phase. But I feel like you're going to realize that you miscommunicate about something. Like you're going to, maybe you're spying or they're spying. Someone's, someone's watching you or you're watching someone. And there's going to be a truth revealed. They're going to, someone's going to realize that there is miscommunication and they're going to apologize. Either you're going to apologize or they're going to apologize. I feel like there was just some kind of miscommunication that caused some kind of confusion here. And it, it tracked this, it tracked them. It, it kept them from taking the, the mask off and, you know, cutting these cords out, you know, because we have trapped block tied up here. It's like someone was trapped by their own, see how she, he or she has this mask on. It's like they were trapped by their own fears and insecurities or trapped by their own illusions. And... This Mercury retrograde is going to bring a lot to light so that you can take off this mask and you can cut these cords. Um, you can cut through the illusion so that you can go home. You can go to where you truly belong, home, safe space, sense of belonging. You know, you can see what's meant for you and what's not meant for you. But I feel like there was like arguments or there was miscommunication between you and your person and that's going to be cleared up. You're going to realize that there's very deep love here. You just have to get past the stubbornness, past the pride. Yeah, there's going to be reconciliation, I feel. There's going to be reconciliation within the next couple weeks. We have mental instability, manipulation, deception, new love. Choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, choose a path. Hmm. Finances and career.
someone, either you or your person, someone here cares a lot about appearances. Someone cares too much about appearances. That's the energy I'm getting. I'm getting that this energy is intertwined. So I'm feeling like, because we have new love here. And I feel like we have, okay, so we have choosing their words wisely, planning their approach, finances and career. So I feel like this could be like connected to a job. But I also feel like this is someone, either this is you or your person. It's like someone that cares a lot about their image. Someone that cares a lot about money, cares a lot about their, their social image, uh, publicity, like how the public views them. Um, they're kind of, they choose their words wisely. Like they want to be accepted. They want to fit in. And, you know, I feel like there's someone mentally unstable here that, that wants, and this could be a coworker, this could be like a fake friend, this could be a karmic, whoever it is, there's someone mentally unstable here that wants to, um, that wants to cause some kind of like manipulation and deception here, wants to whisper in someone's ear here and, and cause some kind of chaos. So you're going to need to choose a path. I feel like you're going to have to choose the path within a couple weeks. Um... You know, do you want to reconcile? Do you want to be with your true love? Do you want to be with the person you're meant to be with? You know, this is destiny. This is true love. Look at how this couple's looking at each other. Look at just like the longing, just how close they feel with each other. Um, see how like gentle he is with her too. See how he has her hand there? Like he's very um, respectful, very gentle with her. And, you know, this is reconciliation. So it's like you're going to have to kind of choose a path. Like... Do you want to listen to the to rumors and drama and chaos here? Do you want to listen to, um, you know, people that want to take you off your destined path? And do you want to care about your, your finances and your image and, you know, what these shallow people think of you? Or do you want to start a new life with your divine feminine or your divine masculine? Like, do you want true love here? You know, the choice is yours, but I feel like a decision... I feel like you're kind of at that crossroads now where it's like, okay, are you going to repeat this cycle forever? Or, you know what I mean? Because it's like some of you, some of you, either you or your person are holding on to superficial things like, like trying to hold on to money, trying to hold on to an old stagnant job that's no longer serving you. It's like you have toxic coworkers, you know, it's time to transition and, you know, find a new job somewhere else. But some of you are just like so used to the money. It's like, see how like glamorous he or she is. It's like they're used to Someone's used to the money. They're used to having a lot of money. They're used to like the finer things in life. And they're used to like their social image. Like this is like someone in like a high, like a high standing in society, you know, and this could be you or your person. It's like someone's used to, used to that social, like that, um, you know, publicity, that social image, money, you know, shallow things. And it doesn't mean that you can't have money, but it's, it's kind of saying like, stop holding on to things that are no longer serving you, things that are. You know what I mean? Because it's like this this job, whatever this is, it's like it's toxic and it's probably going to end either way. Like for some of you, your spirit guides are pushing you out of this um, or you're, or they're pushing your person out of this. You know, take it how it resonates. But it's like someone's trying to put on this appearance. They're trying to look a certain way publicly. They're trying to um, – it's like they're going along with rumors or they're – like, they're trying to impress all the wrong people. They're trying to impress these toxic people. And it's like, you have two very different lives ahead of you. Or your person does. You know, take it how it resonates. But it's like, there's two very different paths here. We have to choose a path. So it's like, do you want this? Do you want to impress all the wrong people? Do you want to have money but be alone? Do you want to, um, you know, be liked and loved and accepted by these people that, that don't really know you? Do you want to have to keep wearing this mask and keep being fake around these people and keep going along with this energy? Or do you want true love? Do you want true love? And it doesn't mean that you can't have it all. It doesn't mean, you know what I mean? Like you can totally have love and money and everything else, but the money is not at this job. Whatever this toxic stagnant job is where it's like, you're, you know, you have toxic coworkers or jealous coworkers or your person does, you know, or these like, you know, like they want friends, but they have a lot of fake friends. It's like, okay, if you let go of this energy, you're going to have it replaced with much newer and much better things. It's like, so yes, you have to let, someone has to let go of this job or this, this image, this, you know, desire to be accepted and to fit in with all the wrong people someone has to let go of this energy but it's going to be replaced like you're going to find if you let go of this toxic job you're going to find a new job 
You're going to find something that makes you more money. You're going to start your own career, like entrepreneurship, um, starting your own business, finding a new job that, you know, just makes you happy where you love what you're doing. It's like, so yeah, in the, in the short term, yeah, you have to let go of this image. You have to let go of money in the short term, but it's going to be replaced very quickly. Um, I'm getting like within a few months or less for some of you, like really quickly, it's going to be replaced with, you know, a new job, a new career, a new path, something better than you could have ever imagined. Like, so that money is going to be, is, that money is going to come back. You know what I mean? It, like, it feels like, yeah, you're letting go of it in the, in the short term, but it's going to come back to you. You're going to manifest that money again. You're going to, you know what I mean? Like you have that mentality, that business mindset. So you're going to be able to start your own business or find a new job or whatever it might be. Some of you might start a new job in another location, like somewhere else, um, like a new city or a new state. And then you're going to work that job for a little bit. But then while you're working that job, you're going to be building up like an entrepreneur, like you're going to be starting your own business and you're going to be using the money that you make from the side job to, to finance that new business and get back on your feet. Um, and like invest in yourself and invest in, you know, the things that like the startup business costs and whatnot. So, you know, it's like, don't worry. It's like, everything's going to be replaced. Like, you know what I mean? Like you let go of that old job and you're going to have a new job come in where it's going to make you more money and you're going to be more successful and more happy. And you're going to, on top of it, have true love. You know what I mean? It's almost like, it almost like reminds me of, um, God, I used to watch, I don't know, like the old like Bachelor and Bachelorette. Like I haven't, it's been a while, but I remember like the old seasons. I don't know if they still do it or not, but I remember like years and years ago when I watched it and, um, the Bachelorette, like if she chooses, like at the end of it, she has to choose between the man or she chooses, um, money. So like whoever the, you know, whoever he, so like for the bachelor, like whoever he chooses, the woman, um, and this could be male or female, you know, just take it how it resonates, whatever gender, it doesn't matter. It's just all energies. But at the end, it's like, she has to choose between love or money. She can choose to walk away with a million dollars or she can be with, with the man that's chosen her. She can be with her lover. And the thing is though, the twist is if she chooses him, she actually, they both get the money anyway. They like, you know what I mean? Let's like, we're like in the moment she feels he or she feels like they're losing that money. Like they have to choose between love or money, but then they have the surprise money coming in for them once if they choose love. So it's like, if you go down the path of love, of intuition, of spirituality, of, um, you know, like the healer's path, like, you know, on your true destiny, the universe is going to reward you for that. So in the moment you're going to be like, damn, like I have to let go of this job. I have to let go of this image. I have to let go of, of you know, these fake people that I have around me, like this sucks. But then when you let go of it, you're going to be with your true love. And then on top of it, you're going to be rewarded. It's like that butler that comes out and hands you a, a million dollar check. It's like, you know, you're going to, you're going to make that money back times, times 10 or times five or whatever. You know what I mean? Like you're going to make that money back again. And you're going to be making more money and you're going to be in a career that you're happier with. So it's all going to be replaced, you know, same with like the friends, like if you're letting go of old toxic friends, they're going to be replaced with, with new positive people. So it's not a loss. You know what I mean? Like it feels like a loss in the moment. It feels terrifying in the moment because it's so unfamiliar. But if you take a leap of faith towards true love, towards destiny, towards passion, towards romance, all these old things, these old energies that you're letting go of, they're going to be replaced by much newer and better things. So you have to realize that, you know, go towards your true love. Um, I want to say too, so like for my Aries video, I was getting this energy, um, cause I'm seeing the same energy in this video. So I think, you know, I think, you know, like Aries and Sagittarius here and fire signs are typically attracted to each other. So, but anyway, what I was getting in my Aries video is I'm getting that there was a jealous karmic that's spreading rumors and someone's going to have a truth revealed to them in the dream state. So in that video, I was getting that either this karmic is telling you that your person is cheating on you, like your true love is cheating on you, or they're not loyal, or they're trying to come into your dream state and convince you that your person's not loyal, or like they're trying to, they're trying to mess with your intuition, they're trying to cloud your judgment, or they're trying to cloud your person's judgment, or they're trying to come to them and trying to make them think that you're not loyal. Um, you know what I mean? There's some kind of illusion here that the karmic, you know, see this manipulative, deceptive energy where it's like, 
someone's whispering in someone's ear and they don't even this person doesn't even realize what's going on this could be male or female or both but what i was getting is that there's some kind of jealous karmic this could be an ex this could be a friend this could be a family member but someone that's spreading rumors and spreading lies and trying to make either you think your person's cheating or make them think you're cheating or that they're, that they're that you're not loyal or that you're not waiting for them and it's simply not the case it's an illusion it's just a jealous karmic trying to mess things up um, so you're going to realize that truth. You're going to realize that your person actually is loyal to you and vice versa. They're going to realize that you're loyal to them. Like that truth is going to be revealed. So some of you have to realize though, it's like you have to, you have to come, you have to realize your person's loyal and you're loyal and I feel like you have to choose a path. You have to choose a path. Which way do you want to go? Do you want to keep being deceived? Do you want to stay in this cycle with this with these energies? Do you want to keep caring about appearances? Or do you want true love? Do you want everything you've ever wanted right in front of your face? Do you know what I mean? Everything you let go of will be replaced. Like, I hear your spirit guides around you, like, promising you that. They're like, you know what? Let go of this job. We're going to replace it with a better job. Let go of the toxic best friend. We're going to replace it with, a, you know, a healthy best friend that's going to actually love you properly. Like, everything you're letting go of is going to be replaced by much better things. So you have to be aware of that. You know, so let go of these old stagnant energies, these old karmic energies, and move forward and to reconcile with your true love. You know, new love, fading encounter. And this is, I feel like this is someone you already know for a lot of you. This is just destiny. This You guys are meant to meet. Maybe the circumstances of how you met were very um, unexpected. Betrayal, jealousy, conflict. Yeah, there's someone jealous here that wants to have control. Magic, intention, power, passion, romance. Yeah, they can't though. They're going to... They're going to, they're going to be, someone's going to pause them <laughs> and check out my third party reading. If this is your, if this is your story too, because my third party reading that I just put up, um, a few days ago might, might reply to you as well. Magic manifestation, power, passion, romance. The energy I get is that this karmic can't touch true love. They can't touch There's Like this couple is so passionate that it's like this other person wants to crawl back in and they can't. Yeah, they're waiting and someone's waiting and hoping and praying, but it's like a power struggle. Yeah, third party, karmic partner. They're codependent. And they're humiliated. <laughs> yeah, I feel like some of you, it's like the karmic got in your head or got in your person's head and made you afraid of... The car, like this, this third party made someone afraid of rejection, made someone like overthink something, but someone's realizing that was a lie and someone's being vulnerable anyway. What else is going on here? So yeah, you really need to like sort through the illusions. Um, you need to be smarter. You need to be more intuitive. Um, I don't want to say you need to be smarter. That sounds harsh, but, um, but you know what I mean? Like, cause I just feel like this is like the same energy I got from my Aries reading where it's like, okay. Someone's lying, someone's spreading rumors, and you need to just be aware of that. Like, you need to, you need to realize that it's a lie. You need to realize that your person's loyal, that you're loyal. For others, I also feel like this could be that the karmic's threatening to spread rumors about you. And he or she is going to do it, but you have to just let the chips fall where they may. Just let it happen. Just go through it, because it's going to be worth it to be free of this energy, all this chaotic, toxic energy to be free of that and be on your destined path with your true love, it's going to be worth it to just let go of these toxic people, this toxic job, these toxic karmic situations. Like letting it go is going to, it's just going to clear everything up for you. You're going to have like a new, it's almost like you have to just like take the first step. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You just have to take that first step. And then things are going to, a way is going to be made for you. You're trying, some of you are trying to control it and trying to predict how it's going to play out and what it's, what, you know, you're trying to control everything and it's like if you just let it go the your spirit guides are going to show you how it's going to you know what i mean like you're going to be led you don't have to worry about it but you have to be willing to take a leap of faith and step out of your comfort zone and let go of the toxic job let go of the toxic best friend let go of the toxic karmic or the toxic energies and trust that you know the universe is going to you know you're going to have money again you're going to have true love you're going to have reconciliation with someone you love 
You know, some of you need to step out of your comfort zone, though, and take a leap of faith towards your person and towards your destiny. Some of you need to move towards this now. So it's a really beautiful energy here. If you're willing, you know, it, the path is, it's your choice. It's your choice. You know what I mean? You want to stay stuck in this cycle for, for months or years? Or do you want happiness and true love and money and, and everything you've ever dreamed of? You know, your guides are, your spirit guides are going to reward you for being intuitive and taking a leap of faith and following your heart. Your spirit guides are really going to reward you for following your heart. That's that's like a key part of this reading. I just want to keep reiterating that. Your spirit guides are going to reward you for following your heart, for following your intuition, for going where the true love is, for going where you feel at home, you know, letting go of the image, letting go of the toxic karmic and the toxic friends and whatever's been holding you back, letting go of these things. And going towards what makes you truly happy. The divine is going to reward you for that. For that faith, that bravery, that intuitiveness, that, that empathy. You know, all that energy. It's just that passion is going to be rewarded tenfold. It's really going to be rewarded. Trust me. Um, oh, I do want to say too, I don't know if I mentioned this, but for some, I feel like the karmic's going to try to spread rumors. Like they're holding something over your head or they're holding something over your person's head. And I want, like, they're going to spread the rumors no matter what, I feel like, but let it, let the chips fall where they may, because the right people are not going to believe those rumors. The right people are not going to take the karmic seriously. And you kind of just need to know that because I feel like the karmic might, for those of you in like a third party situation, I feel like the karmic has a lot of people agreeing with them because they don't want to deal with the drama. A lot of people know how crazy the karmic is. So when she, when he or she talks shit, their friends and family just go along with it because they don't want to deal with the drama because they know that, that they have control issues and they don't want to call the karmic out. So they're like, they just kind of agree with it. They just kind of agree with whatever they say. So you need to know that. Like if they're holding something up over your head and they're like threatening to, to make everyone hate you or, or tell people you did this or that, like, just go ahead and let them. Go ahead and let them and just trust that the truth will be revealed because it's it's going to be like a healing period for you because it's going to show you who your real friends are. You know what I mean? Like, your frenemies are going to take the karmic side. And that's those, those old toxic friendships are going to fall away. But, you know, your real friends are going to take your side. They're going to believe you. And some of them, they won't believe you right away. Some of them will be kind of confused, kind of torn. But I'm getting that it's going to backfire on the karmic because truth is going to be revealed. The truth is going to be revealed about him or her. So it's like they're going to make you look bad for like a little while possibly. But then people are going to start seeing how crazy and how dramatic the karmic is. Um, and how controlling the karmic is. And they're going to think like, oh, wait a minute. Like maybe those were rumors. Maybe, maybe I sh shouldn't have believed the karmic when, you know, she told me that her ex did this and this and this. It's like... Or his ex, whatever. It's like the car, like, like the karmic's gonna spread rumors, and there's no way around it. But like, you just need to know that the truth will be re will be revealed. She'll do it to herself. She will, re she or she will reveal the truth on their own, like with their energy, because the karmic is so in this in this particular spread and this these third party readings I do, the karmic is so toxic that it's like. The truth is just going to be revealed because people are going to realize how toxic the karmic is. And that's going to reveal the truth because they're going to be like, wait a minute, like maybe like they're going to see the karmic lying about other things. And then they're going to go back and question and, and realize that they were lying about you, too, or lying about your person, too. So, like, you don't need to worry about the karmic spreading rumors. You need to just let the chips fall where they may. Um, just protect yourself, kind of like what I was talking about in the other reading. Like, you do need to be safe. You do need to protect yourself. But... You know, just just stay strong. It's really important to stay strong right now. And just know that the truth will be revealed. The people that really love you are going to see the truth about the karmic sooner or later. Um, so you need to be aware of that. Uh, what else? What other energies do I get from this? Yeah, I mean, you just you have true love right in front of your face. You have it. 
you just need to come to that realization. I feel like you're going to have an epiphany though. You're going to realize that you have this right in front of your face. You have this new start, everything you could ever want right in front of your face. If you're just willing to take that leap of faith. Um, what else? I might get like, if you're in my third party group, I might get some more updates soon. Um, I did just post some third party videos. So check those out if you have not done so already. else wants to be said maybe it'll come to me later I feel like there's like another update and maybe it's like hasn't surfaced yet if that makes sense like but so check back for my reading so they feel like maybe there's like another update that I'm gonna be posting later does that make sense it's almost like there's a third thing there's something else that wants to be told but it's like not quite ready like not everybody has caught up to this energy yet if that makes sense but um but yeah true love is here it's right in front of your face there was miscommunication and rumors, you know, spread from a karmic. But you know what? The truth is going to be revealed to society, to, to you, to your person. However that plays out for you, the truth will be revealed. Um, and, you know, true love will win. So just know that and, and choose your path. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, email me if you want a reading. Um, any donations are appreciated. And please subscribe if it resonates. My email is below in the description box.